Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so guys, I wanted to do uh, two videos. Go ahead and knock out two videos here. Gemini and um, Libra, y'all have been showing me love like crazy on my videos. So I want to go ahead and do a couple of bonus readings today. Um, I'll probably jump back on and do some more later on, but I want to go ahead and knock these out with you real quick. We're just going to do uh, just kind of a free-flowing reading here for you, Gemini, first. And we're just going to see what is coming up for the month of November because I already did your November reading. But this one here, I want to do just kind of overall, like what's going on with money, you know, whatever, you know, whatever comes out, comes out. So it's free-flowing for you. Uh, now, before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, please flip the energies that best resonate with you. So let's go ahead and do the, I'm going to lay out three cards and see what your overall energy is for uh, November. Let's tune in here. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, what is your overall energy for November? What is there to come? What is there to come for Gemini in November? What is there to come for Gemini in the month of November? Thank you. What is there to come for Gemini in the month of November 2020? Okay, so the first one that popped out is Devil. What is there to come in the month of November for Gemini 2020? Thank you. We have the Empress. What is there to come for Gemini in the month of November 2020? Thank you. And the Moon. So already what I'm seeing is with the devil, okay, there's some type of energy that's appearing that can be very toxic, very obsessive, okay, this could be you over obsessing about something or overworking or uh, whatever it is, you know, I'm going to clarify to find out, but this is a toxic energy, this could be toxic relationship, toxic work environment, okay, this could be you stressing over some things or obsessing over some things. This could be you with a spending problem, overspending, or, uh, underspending, okay, penny pension type of thing. We also have the Empress, okay, so this is motherhood, nurturing. Uh, this is you being in that motherly energy. This could be you nurturing your um, goals. This could be you nurturing your new job, putting energy into your new job, your new career, or... Um, a new business that you have started again it's it's a general reading so just apply it where it needs to I'm gonna clarify here in a, in a, in a bit um, this is like full potential this could represent marriage so you could be putting your full potential into your your craft as well and then we also have the moon card here and the moon card of course is like hitting thing things that are hidden in the dark so there may be some secrets that may come out. There may be some uncertainty, some illusion, okay? Unseen depth of emotions from some people. You may learn some things about some people. Learn some feelings about some people. Learn about how people feel about you. It may come out in the month of November. Again, we're going to clarify, so we'll see here. Let's do, um, let's clarify the devil first. Clarify the devil energy for Gemini for the month of November 2020. Thank you. Let's do one more. Clarify the devil energy. Thank you. The will of fortune is on the bottom. So there's definitely some type of change. With the hermit here, you could be going solo dolo, okay? Kind of um, taking some time to yourself to really think on some things, really focus on some things. Taking time out here. So this could be with the page of pentacles here. There may be some unsureness about your finances, okay? Uh, maybe an unsureness about a new job opportunity with this page of pentacles. Could be an unsureness with a, a new position as far as a relationship. But this, uh, it's not bad news. I mean, it's good news that's coming in. I feel like it's financially good news coming in. 
because we do have the nine of pentacles here and this is like the singles card being successful this is like uh, of course material security so having everything that you desire all your materialistic things that you want that you desire and want to have you'll be getting in the month of November that could be why the devil is showing up maybe you're becoming a little obsessive overspending maybe or just like really <laughs> really overly focused on your finances like uh, maybe splurging on yourself so just kind of be careful about how you spend your money in the month of November. Make sure you're not overspending. Make sure you're being uh, very watchful of what you buy. Okay, if you're doing like a, a at-home project or uh, redoing your room or something like that, be mindful of how much you spend. Okay, if you're redoing your kitchen, be mindful of how much you spend. Just be mindful, okay? But also, this could go as far as with the devil. Maybe you're over-obsessing about spending the money. Maybe you don't want to spend the money, but you have it, but you just don't want to spend it because you're being a little, you know, a greedy. Like, you may need something that needs to be done in the month of November, and you don't want to spend the money. <laughs> could be that. I feel like your mind is going to become clear. You're going to feel a bit unsure about it, but it's like you're unsure about doing it, but you have the financial capacity to do it, or maybe I should say capability, not capacity, the financial capability to do it. Let's see, let's pull one more. Clarify the devil, please, for November 2020. Clarify the devil, please, okay? We also have Page of Cups, so there could definitely be a love offering coming in here. In the month of November, so someone could be coming towards you, offering love, offering a new beginning. That could be why you're quite unsure as well. Maybe you're so comfortable being uh, single. Because we do have the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So you're very, you could be uncomfortable, I mean, you could be happy being in your singleness, right? And then long and behold, here comes love coming in and you're just not sure if you want to give up your single lifestyle to pursue this love offering. So that could be it as well. Let's clarify the Empress here. Clarify the Empress, please, for November 2020 for Gemini, Zodiac sign. Can you clarify the Empress for Gemini, November 2020? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And strength is on the bottom. So, of course, courage, confidence, strength, all of that good stuff is going on in the month of November. So, with the Empress, we do have the Queen of Cups. Again, I feel like this is a love offering coming in for you, Gemini. Or you are giving your love to someone. You know, however you need to flip it, flip it. It's just energy. I could be picking up on the person's energy surrounding you. So the Queen of Cups is a love offering. Definitely someone wanting a commitment. Okay, very nurturing energy. This could be that very motherly, wifely, husband type of energy. And I feel like somebody is coming in that's trying to offer a love connection. I feel like someone wants this commitment with you. But then I also feel like with the king of swords here guys i apologize if you hear some noise in the background my son is behind me he's going to be going into the living room the king of swords is here so i feel like you're also very guarded you're very protective of your heart and you're not one to just really dive into things emotionally you do tend to think things out think about the outcomes think about what's going to change before you go into finding love or being in love. Again, we have the Empress here, so this is nurturing energy. So I feel like, you know, if you did decide to go this route, you would give your all. You know, you would give, you're very caring. So I don't feel like you would just be like, no, nah, I don't like you. It would be more like, let me think about it. You know, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to be in a relationship. Again, you are 
to me, I feel like it's a singles energy that I'm pulling here, Gemini, for you. Let's see. Can you clarify the moon, please? Clarify the moon for Gemini for November 2020. Thank you. Clarify the moon. Thank you. Can I have one more? Clarify the moon for Gemini, please. November 2020. Oh, I thought one flipped. Clarify the moon for Gemini 2020. November 2020. Clarify the moon. Thank you. So we have the Three of Wands for uh, the Moon card to clarify. The Three of Wands represents, of course, the free flying energy like this bird up here. You're free. You look forward to what can come in or what is going to pay off. So this could be a successful venture that you started and that's coming. You're watching your ships ride in. You're watching the payoff. You're watching the hard work pay off for you and it's coming in. This could also represent someone coming forward, okay? Because again, we do have the moon as the leading card. So this could be someone coming in or like you watching your options as they roll into you. You may be having three people coming in towards you, letting you know they're interested. They're attracted to you. So that could be that as well. Again, just apply it as it fits. We also have the Ten of Swords, so I feel like there's going to be some ending to a few things. Could be some betrayal, okay? Some backstabbing that may be happening. So you'll begin to find out the people that are really ride or die for you, that are there for you, or that um, that were just there to use you, that, that was just kind of, you know, not... 100 with you, I guess is how I would explain it. So you'll probably be hurt in the month of November or betrayed from maybe some friends and family members that didn't really have the best intentions with you. So just be on the lookout for that as well. So you have people coming in as well as people uh, showing their true colors, okay? So some people may be coming in with emotions, letting you know that they care about you, letting you know that they like you. It could be three people coming in that are attracted to you that um, have, haven't really told you that before. And it's like kind of out of nowhere, you know, you, here you are free flying, free falling, whatever it is. And then these three items or three things come in and it's out of nowhere. You didn't expect it because you were just on your journey, you know what I'm saying? You were just, ooh, you know, enjoying yourself. So you could, be, you could be having three opportunities coming in for you here in the month of November. As well as with the Ten of Swords, this could be somebody um, being kind of deceptive to you, kind of stabbing you in the back. So just be on the lookout for that because the moon is bringing uh, the darkness to the light and secrets are coming out, okay? True emotions are coming out. Uncertainty is coming out. It's coming to the top, to the surface. We also have the Eight of Wands. Okay, the Eight of Wands represents movement. So I feel like you are moving forward in life. You are moving forward in things. So this could be, because this is like traveling. So you could be traveling somewhere in the month of November, of course. Uh, that sounds so cliche because November is coming. The holidays are here. So of course, like, but you could be traveling for, you know, holidays. That could be what it is, but that's so cliche. I don't want to... <laughs> Leave it like that. But there's also fast progress after delay. So it's like these people with the Ten of Swords that have been holding you back. Now that it's finally coming to the light and you realize what their true intentions are and that they never had good intentions for you or towards you. Now that they have uh, became visible to you, okay, because they were hidden, you know, they were hiding the way they felt or hiding the way they they truly wanted to maneuver around you. You know what I'm saying? Now that it's coming to the surface, now it's like, oh, okay, well, that was extra baggage. I can let that go. Now you have fast progress. It's like you're starting to propel forward now. Let's see. Let's, um...
any other, let me, I'm going to pull out the angel answers, okay? This is the angel answers. There may be some questions that you have, and I want to just give you some answers to them. I don't know what the answers are, so I'm just going to say any answers, or let me say, any questions that Gemini may, may have that you would like to give answers to, okay, is how I'm going to put it into the atmosphere. So are there any answers that you would like to give Gemini for any questions they may have? Okay, so whatever your answers are, I mean, whatever your questions are that you have, Gemini, I don't know what they are. They're going to pertain to you how they pertain to you, okay? I just want to give you a couple of answers here with the angel deck. Are there any answers that you have for Gemini for any unanswered questions? questions that they may have. Any answers for Gemini? For any unanswered questions? Any, okay. Any answers for Gemini for any unanswered questions? Right there. Any answers for Gemini for any unanswered questions for Gemini? Any answers that need to be given for Gemini for any unanswered questions? Can I have two more, please? At least two. Thank you. <laughs> now that popped out. So on the bottom, we have don't stop, okay? Again, remember I just told you, Eight of Wands, you're propelling forward after you let go of that top, that uh, backstabbing energy or people that are not in the circle, that are not in it for you, okay, that have negative intentions. Don't stop, man. Just keep going. Keep propelling forward. So the answers, you may have questions that I don't know, and Spirit has answered them for you. Okay, so here are, we have three answers here. So in the near future, apply it to the question that you have that is unknown. In the near future. If it's love, okay, if it's will I find love in the near future, is, will I be financially successful in the near future? Okay. We also have a yes answer. So yes, yes, yes. Whatever your questions are that are un unanswered, yes. Look there. And the last answer we have within the next few weeks. So for any unanswered questions that you've been wanting to know that you've been lingering, wondering what will happen, what will become within the next few weeks. So in the near future, yes, and within the next few weeks. To me, that's positive. That's positivity coming out. So this is your bonus reading, Gemini. I hope that this helps. I hope that it resonates, guys. I thank you guys so much for the love and support. Again, that's why I wanted to do this bonus reading for you guys. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.